Jody Smith said, noble deeds and hot baths are the best cures for depression. Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What we are going to do today is I am going to be showing you how I like to use Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser to take off makeup. Now I do have a full face on of makeup. I'm doing a review of the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. And if that's already up, I'll link to it below, but that's what I have on my face right now. And I'm going to show you a way that you can take off makeup using a cold cream cleanser. You can spend a lot more on higher priced ones, but in my opinion, this actually works. But what I tend to do is I'll take this right here, and all you do is you get a good amount on your hand. You know, I get pretty good amount. Now, you can use a brush if you want to. I just tend to use my hand more than anything. And I get it on my hand and just kind of slather it on. I mean, yes, I go hog wild with this stuff. I go all over the face and pretty thick, too. You know, and you just work it in. And then I'll get a little bit more on the other hand here. I mean, I get it pretty good size amount because you really want plenty of this stuff to really get in there and get your makeup off especially if you have a pretty big face of makeup which I did with that uh, foundation today so you know but you lather that on kind of like you're washing your face I don't know if you can even see me right now honestly but I even use this on my eyes. You know, I have a little bit still on my finger here. Now, I'm not going to be able to see out of my left eye right now. So, um, but, you know, I just work this in, work in, uh, circular motions. Little tip, if you're doing this, make sure you put your hair back before you start. Otherwise, you're going to end up getting it in your hair like I just did. Uh, <laughs> but just massage it in just like you're uh, washing your face using your hands you know work it in work it up into the forehead you know just do circular motions and this is a great time to do facial massage you know I do that sometimes as well and it is rather oily if you can tell that. I mean, I look like a big old grease ball right now. But, you know, you can put it on the eyes. Really just work it around. I mean, in my experience, it actually takes off my mascara, too. Now, I don't usually use this on waterproof mascara. I use it primarily for... Uh, kind of like a first cleansing step. You know, like, I'll do this, and then I'll go hop in the shower, or, you know, use a makeup wipe just to make sure I got everything, type thing. You know, and I'm going to do that today, too, just to show you. You know. Um, but I'm just working this in. And it really does help get blood flowing in your face to really massage it like this anyway. Doing small little circles all over. I mean, I can even tap under the eyes. You know, really just work it in. Now, I don't recommend opening your eyes as much with this on your eyes. You know, but I have before and it hasn't burned my eyes. But, you know, and I take it down on the neck as well. You know, and that's what it looks like on my hands here. So, now what I'm using right now to get it off, I would recommend typically using a rag or paper towel or, you know, something like that. But for today purpose, I'm just using a tissue. Well, a couple of tissues actually is what I'll be doing. But, you know, for right now, I'm just going to show you using a tissue because you can see it better. I feel, I mean, you know, 
because I have used tissues a couple times, but it's just not my favorite thing to use. So. But. You just wipe it off. You know, that's what I'm doing here. Now, I lost my tissues. You can see where using a rag, you waste less. But I thought, you know, with this being this type of video, you know, showing you the real deal can be a good thing, you know. I mean, I've even used toilet paper before to do this. I don't really recommend cheap tissues or toilet paper. If you're going to use anything besides a rag, uh... I would say use paper towels or an actual makeup cleansing wipe. You know, I know I'm not getting all this off, but I typically will end up missing a spot or two here and there. I mean, that's just typical. Yeah, I really don't do a whole lot on my lips because I use an, a lip exfoliator usually to get my lip off. I mean, you can tell this is even taking off some of the lip, so. Uh, but yeah. Now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe real quick. These are practically dry anyway. So, <laughs> they're not going to do that great, but well, they've got a little bit of moisture to them, though. A little bit. But. I mean, you can tell, compared to this here, you know, that right there is actually not that bad. I mean. And you could take a like micellar cleansing water even and go over it which is I mean my nighttime if I do a full heavy face of makeup my nighttime routine for that is more in depth like I'll use a cleansing cream then I might use a makeup wipe just to make sure I got all that off then I'll move on to a micellar water then just to make sure I got everything off, I'll go and wash my face, you know, using my um, two-in-one makeup remover, foaming makeup wa makeup remover wash by Quake. You know, I got stuff all in my hair whenever I was doing that. So yeah, make sure you pull your hair back, but overall, you know, it does take off the makeup. I mean, there's a little bit of yellowy looking stuff, but I think part of that is from my hand, you know, because I didn't worry about cleaning off my hands before I did this. So, but yeah, that right there is the Pons Cold Cream Cleanser. I mean, Pons has some good stuff, so. Now, you can also use a, um... Like coconut oil, you can use olive oil, you can use all sorts of stuff like that. But Pond's Cold Cream, I think whenever I got it, it was a long time ago, though, it was only like uh, five, six bucks for a big old tub of it. You know, and that's pretty reasonable. I think anyone who buys makeup remover stuff would be like, okay, that, that's cheap. You know, because you can pay easy upwards of seven eight bucks for some makeup remover you know uh i'm saying cloths or whatever so i'm just taking some garnier micellar cleansing water at this point and going over my eyes this is the uh you know even this is not taking off not getting anything really off from what i can tell so but yeah, 
that pond's got a little bit off that eye. Because I did have on waterproof liner. So, that's mainly what little came off there. You know. But taking multiple steps to do this is worth it in my book. Because then I'm really making sure my skin is well clean. Cleansed, rather. Before I go to sleep. Because if I sleep in it, that's more likely to cause acne and cause issues on my skin. You know. And I was going down areas that I really didn't take the cleansing wipe. And yeah, I'm getting a little more off that way. But, um... But yeah, if you're wanting something cheaper that actually is pretty decent for drier skin, especially if you have dry, really dry skin, I highly recommend the Pond's Cleansing Cream. Or cold, uh, what's it called exactly here? Um, uh, let's see here. It has a green looking lid. I've lost my lid for a second, but... Um, the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. Yeah, Cold Cream Cleanser is what it's called. You know, it looks like that right there. Now, you know, if you want something cheap that you can get from Walmart, I think you can even get this at Walgreens, I think. Don't quote me on that for sure. You know, but I know you can get it at Walmart. Um... This works. It's great for dry skin, especially. Uh, on here it says, no Moisturizing Deep Cleanser and Makeup Remover is what it says on the thing. And it really does the job. You know, I use this quite a bit. And the reason I do use, like, a micellar cleansing water, wash my face afterwards, makeup wipe, all that, is because I do have oilier skin. And this will make me a grease ball in the morning if I don't use something else. So if you do have oily skin, but yet you want to use this, just use a cleansing wipe and, you know, and or a micellar water and you're going to be fine. You know, I'm not a complete grease ball the next morning if I do these. Just, you know, a couple little steps. So, you know, I highly recommend this for anyone that wants something just to do a little face massage, even. You know, because that really does help stimulate blood flow, and I've heard it helps with anti-aging and all that. You know, you can easily look up on YouTube different ways to face massage. I typically do the circular motions, and then I'll even take it and, you know, pull my skin like this. Not a lot. I don't put really heavy press pressure, but pull from the center more outwards up just to kind of help try to lift those areas you know and on the neck I might go down or even up you know but yeah that is the best thing in my opinion well not the best thing but it's a great way to do a facial massage especially you know but it is a great thing for Dry skin especially. I got turned on to uh, cold cream years ago by my grandmother. She used a, like a cleansing cream. And she would always use a rag to take it off. You know, she'd lather it on real good and work it in and really just, you know, take her makeup off that way. But this right here, you know, is pretty good too. So, I highly recommend that, and let me know if there are any other products by Pons that you want reviewed. I think I've got the Pons Rejuvenesce, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, I'm happy to try items if I can afford them, or if I already have them, to review as well. So... Thank you so much for watching this video, and I do hope that you hit that subscribe button and follow me here on YouTube as well as all my social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, and my blog, and I hope to see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. My top 
Five videos linked below are New Maybelline City Mini Palette Review and Demo What's in My Purse? Garnier Argan Oil and Cranberry Extract Review Get Ready With Me Easy Natural Drugstore First Video Styling My Short Bob